again uh, recap. Uh, we have a race to. Um, I think in the final it's a race to ten. I think it was last year, but correct me. If Let's I'm wrong. double check that one. But here we go with the lag. They just had and a try first. They agreed on that, and then uh, they did another one after. Oh, really? Yeah. Ending his title. Yeah. And he's uh, he's been looking strong the whole tournament. Both in both in putting and defense, he's been really, really crazy. But and David, also the break, look. David as well, playing lights out here. Um, yeah, a bit unlucky here on the break. Yeah, he hit hit the break really good there, and uh, but the direction where he was hitting it from uh, the one ball tends to go towards the back rail and not towards the corner. Yeah. That much, and uh, then if he hit it that hard, yeah, it's gonna bounce out and yeah. leave your shot like, like this. Possibly, uh, you could possibly move it a little bit to the side, the cue ball, so you can. Ooh. I just, you just lost the chat. I lost the chat. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa. Chat is gone. We will be back in just a second, but we're still here on the live stream itself. What do you like here? Um, you could possibly bank the one and then you know, float the cue ball towards the two ball. Yeah. And uh, make something creative and positive. Yeah, kind of like While playing kind of uh, passive semi, aggressive. Yeah, safety at the same time. Yeah. There's a good chance of cover here. Hit it a little bit thick. He's undercut it. Let's see where the cue ball but goes. Look at it. Perfect. That's. Of a two way shot. Let me just ask uh, is it raised to 10? Let's find out so we know. Race to 9. Okay, Race we're to uh, nine. Let's see if we can get the chat up again. It's just. Uh, Kind of wind off, I guess. Oh, jump bank. Yeah, he's. Did he call the ball? He called the corner, so I guess that must be the one then. Just in case. Yeah. Probably trying to hide it behind a four with a little bit of luck. There's lots of balls around there. Yeah. Oh, you didn't manage to hide it. No. And the two hasn't covered the pocket, so the one still goes. It's a fair try. Yeah, definitely. And we're back on the live chat as well. Share this link, guys, to your friends, your family, your co workers, your everybody. Let's have this stream go crazy. Tony Tony Allen is uh, asking you a question. How did you finish off here in the, the tournament? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't do that well. I finished in final 32 and uh, lost here. to uh, Konstantin Stepanov, who played played an excellent match against me. But uh, I had didn't really have a lot of chances. I missed one ball, second rack, and then I, I was just fighting the whole match. But trailing the whole match and it, you know he never looked back at one point I actually thought that you were ahead because I was sitting and watching your match a little bit and, and the times that I did look you were actually doing a couple of really good uh, run outs uh, so I was surprised when I saw the match end uh, prematurely you could say but yeah it was just uh, impossible to come back when the guy is uh, breaking and running out getting yeah, shot at the one every time. That's the nature of um, alternating breaks. Uh, if you get a good lead, it's quite difficult to come back. Yeah. If like the then, then everything really has to collapse for the player that's in the in the zone there, and that rarely really happens. Rarely happens. Although we did have Ruslan come from a six-two lead, and he lost. 
Yeah, Sagan Ruslan was. lost to my countryman, uh, Petr Makonen. Yeah. He was up 5-0, oh, 6-2. Yeah. So, hate, hate so it is it possible here, with but, alternating uh, break then. It is possible. It is possible, but something really funny has to happen yeah. at this level. And it must have done. So you're not getting shots after the break or something like yeah. that. Yeah. But um, good shot. Looks here like Alex that. is taking first blood here. Yeah. Should be fine to come around for this eight ball. Not too much work on the cue ball here. Alex is feeling pretty familiar with this arena here now. Uh, he's yeah, defending he champion. Normally pretty fast play pace player, but uh, he's taking extra time. Yeah. Extra caution here. I'm sure his uh, early match jitters. Some of the players are better in the morning than others. And I think at least it seems for now that uh, oh, oh, oh that was a bit risky. Yeah, now he has to change his plan because I think the nine went into the corner before, and now he has to go mm -hmm. across. Yeah, and it's not straight enough where he could just draw. No, hey, he could take it into the corner and go across the table for the nine into the low left corner. Um, I don't like that shot because he would have to hit it pretty hard. You don't think the angle is enough? I think if anything, he's going to hit it in the side and just put a little bit more pace and come down uh, two rails, hit the, hit the short rail and then the long rail before the side pocket and yeah. just come towards the nine. Yeah, probably able to hold it here. Okay. But that's going to be short. It is. I would have hit it harder, but uh, I guess he tried to go straight, straight back down without hitting the long yeah. rail. In case he probably thought the, the middle pocket might come into play there, just making yeah. sure of that. This is a little touchy. Yeah. More distance than he wanted. More angle than he wanted. You can say the positive thing is that it's a natural angle to land up on mm -hmm. the 10 again, so just concentrate on the putt, really. He was looking at the coming around, just hitting this with firm, coming around the rails, and playing the 10 in the opposite corner. Yeah, that way you don't have to, you don't have to baby it. Especially if you're a little, if you're a little tight, you don't want to yeah. play like a slow pace shot. He's played it okay there, but again trusting that uh, his cue action is in order and his aim because he's going a little bit further away from the ten. Mm -hmm. but well, this is a comfortable shot. Still, it's a natural, much more natural than the nine at least. So. Being that the rack is as tight as it is, yeah. you know, these kind of shots happen a lot in 10 ball. Yeah, exactly. And for the final shot like that, so it's, it's... Great first rack. Pretty standard. I would wake up like an hour before my gig and, and just have the bloodshot eyes and look like I would just completely out of it. It's the worst thing you can do. So There's a second break. break. on the center of the table. Um, and he's got a ball down. Does he have And a, a shot on the one. He's got a position. Nine ball is a little bit in the way of a natural for the two, so he's got to be a little bit careful. But all, although it looks Completely like really almost dead center of the table. Yeah. Kind of unusual, actually. But um, I think know, he, I think he changed a little bit. Heading towards the yeah. The middle of the short rail. Yeah. I saw him bring a little bit from the side on some of the other arena tables, so he must have. Must have checked it out in practice on this table that it worked. Probably just slow roll this one, just settle for the angle. Yeah, that seems good. What would you do inside English uh, up and down, or can you get around to 10 here with it's help it's inside? It's kind of tricky to get to the 5. I mean, you know, you probably have to leave a good angle to. Yeah. Either that, or he's, he's looking at leaving it straight on and yeah. just draw it, avoiding the traffic altogether. I think on the overhead it looks like he can actually get around to 10. But he can get know. around 10. Oh, he can. Okay, good. But like, this shot is going to be tricky too. If you really have to stroke it accurately and... Uh, Trust of cue action in rack number 2. That's It's early days to go for yeah, these full It's kind of a shots. long reach too. I think he's okay. 
Ah, oh, extension on the queue then. Yep. It is about, um, you know, five diamonds away. Edward Hoffman on the chat, yeah, you are correct. It is us. And then Mikhail Stahl, thank you. Let's see Straight how accurate back. he is here. Not, not, not accurate not enough. But, but he's lucky. Worked out. He's lucky. It really though. worked out. Wow. Though. The six coming down there has helped him a lot. Because if he pushed the six onto the rail there, it would have been a completely different story. Yeah. That's not a no, bad outcome. No, you just have to it's just kind of baby this one in. Yeah. Pocket speed. Trusting the table and his cue action. He's done good there. Super clean putt. Even got an angle on the six, that's nice. Yeah. And I also promised to mention some other Q names because uh, I've been talking a lot about Mess, obviously, and uh, we also had to talk about Predator because a lot of the players use it. But actually, Al Qaeda is using Longoni, so there's another brand for you, a really quality brand yeah. from. Uh, Does he use Longoni, but is it Predator Shaft? Or? I think he's uh, full Longoni, actually. Full on. Full on. No mixture. Full tilt. Full tilt, bro. Nice solid cues. Bit like mess, quite stiff in the hits. Yeah, um, Longoni was one of my first sponsors. I mean, yeah. my first actual cue sponsor, so yeah. I have a... That was my second cue as well. I had a great had relationship a with them, and uh, yeah. but I, I, you know, some one thing happened, or some, I don't, I don't know, I was just in America a lot, and I felt like I just needed to move on some other avenues and yeah. said farewell to Longoni and uh, actually not too many people know but I did kind of mention at that time that you know Niels Payen would be a good option to All right. pick in, in the team and then they, I guess and there you have a world champion yeah that was a good pretty good prediction Longoni for that I'll take some credit yeah for sure and he's uh, done well here he's done amazing Perfect on the but, 10. Uh, right now, I hear he's uh, taking a little bit of a, a break from the game. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, while we have a reducement of 1-1 one, one here, I can tell you that uh, Niels is taking a little bit of a hiatus until his, uh, I think it's a tennis elbow. He's, just yeah, he's well got to rest ten, the ten joints a little bit, yeah, something. But it seems to be the thing now, like, like a few years it's ago. It's fashionable, you, Yeah, it's it? fashionable again. Like beard guys, like you know. You got the, the the mini beard little guy. Little goatee. Going? I got my little goatee. <laughs> Just lazy. All right. So he's breaking more from the side rather than from the center. So let's see what happens here. A little flavor saver. <laughs> flavor saver. <laughs> Eat a lot of cake then. Let the One ball cake. drops. One and two, but he's hooked. Ooh. Very unlucky. Losing the cue ball a little bit, maybe. Mm, not really. I mean, but that's the thing, you know. When you make the one ball, uh, the rest of the balls are a little bit chancier. Mm. The way David's breaking, he's probably gonna have a look at the one, but it might not be always near the pocket. Mm. Quite early, when you see the replay here, he, he, he kind of looked mm. like he thought nothing he was going to go down. He did a bit. Yeah. Anyway. The one did drop. And the two as well. Little funny collisions, and he's hooked. Yeah. We're probably going to see a push out here. On the live chat, Camel Longoni, I think it's 10,000 US dollars for the winner. So. Indeed. And I think number two is six or seven thousand dollars. Sitting there in a the chair and looking on, waiting to find out whether or not it's going to be. He's going to push to somewhere where yeah. Ale um, David is not going to be able to make the ball, and possibly where it's not so easy to play safe. But he's probably hoping 
that he'll see something that David doesn't see. Yeah. And that's the magic of the push out, you yeah. know, how you weigh it down. And yeah. I had this situation yesterday myself. I played a push out for like a full length bank, and I was hoping that he would be tempted by it and then obviously miss it, but I was playing against the world champion, and he potted it cleanly. Um, I saw, saw that. that stuff. I saw that, and I was thinking, you know, instead of leaving the pot on, yeah. because he's, he was guaranteed to get a shot on two, yeah. you should have pushed the, the ball that was next to the cue ball, the seven ball or something, push it on the rail when you pushed it, so that he doesn't have the bank, and he has somewhat difficult save. Yeah. But he would probably till, still take the save on, but well, since he had a free bank, True. he was going to take the bank. I was just... I was a bit... It was and maybe a stupid temper, for sure. This this is not a free bank here. No. Nope. This is like... Nothing's free, but he, I see David definitely taking this shot on and... Um, Trying to get the ball distance behind the between four, the balls, maybe? at least. He but can get the three over near the six and cue ball over near the four, maybe? Yeah. Probably three ball near the back rail. Yeah. Not too close to the six, because you don't want to leave easy... Um, Billiards or mm -hmm. you know carom, but this one is tough because there's a bit of traffic for the cue ball if he yeah. has to avoid there's the seven and the four. There's traffic and there's al also he's that close to the rail and he's putting spin on the ball. You know the cue ball tends to have a slight little masse, so it's it's difficult to aim when you mm. when you jacked up on the rail and you try to put spin on the ball. Yeah, and so that looks like David didn't think there was anything natural yeah. there. Even still, you know what? I might take the bank on here because you, there's a lot of good things can yeah. happen. And he's called yeah, it. Yeah, he's called the bank, and you're going towards the four ball, so you're going to be near, near your work. Yeah. And uh, you have a chance of, you know, maybe if you hit it full, the three ball will end up next to the six ball, which is completely safe. True. And uh, I see a lot of good things happen from this bank, but yeah. Again, it's not not an easy bank. Someone asking who the commentators are. It's me, Daniel Candy, and uh, Mika Imanen, world champion of 2001. He's got the bank. He got the bank. He's been unfortunate with the kiss, though. But, um, well, the, um, a little bit. Well, what you want? But he was going towards the four and hoping to get a shot. But still, True. this is a better position than he was er in earlier. So he's mm. earned himself at an least another shot. Yeah, another shot and an easier safety. True. Somebody says here on the chat that he's not heard of the other guy, but uh, Daniel Kandi here is from Denmark. He's a kind of a pool and snooker player, I would say. Yeah. Maybe more, maybe more snooker, but you know. If you look at if you look if you look at titles for the last five years, then actually I'm a pool player because I haven't won a Danish snooker championships for eight years. Okay. I lost in he's the quarterfinal this year. <laughs> I lost to one of the Danish Young Guns, upcoming players. Oh, are we talking about uh, this? Michael. Michael is asking, um, who's the other guy? Um, uh, between the Kazakis and Al Qaeda? Oh. Which one of them don't you know then? Perfect safe behind the seven here while we're looking away. Let's see, he's definitely earned it. Yeah. I'm surprised David didn't take that push because that was the shot. I think honestly, from what I've seen here and what I I know the players for in general, I think that Kasakis is the better tactician of the two. I think they're both great shot makers, but I think the safety demonstration I saw from Kasakis yesterday against uh, some of his opponents was absolutely spot on. Yeah, it's um, a bit like I chess for him. It, yeah, I'm not. He's he's really uh, improved. He's tactical game in the p mm. past uh, two three years and and I think I think Alex's edge is that he's got great competition in Greece you know yeah coming you know he's playing with uh, coming up and yeah. uh, Nick Malai and uh, there's uh, like half a dozen other really strong players in, in Greece that just give you the run for the money 
Yeah. So, I I like going to Greece and practicing with those guys because they're really just a tough opponents. Eh? Hard to beat, man. I'm not saying that they don't have that in Spain, but I think uh, percentage-wise, there's it's, a, it's a lo such a large number of mm. them that a dozen of really strong players in Greece. Mm. Meanwhile, here more, more famous ones yeah. being Alex and yeah. Nick, Nick Malai and uh, Nick Economopoulos. Mm. Came a little bit out of position here. Yeah, he's okay though. Yeah, just a little inside English. Just to a break kill shot. Ball. Yeah, break it for the six. Oh, he's overcut it. He's overcut it definitely. Wow. That must not have been a favorite shot of his. Bit of a shock. But you you called it. It was uh, it was tricky. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. And even sometimes this one. Is even this one. I mean, I, I might just leave the distance there. Just bump into the nine fall. Instead of trying to be a superhero, try to. Hmm. I'll just take the shot from there. That's what he's looking at too. Yeah. And you you got the full table there. You can uh, come between the seven and ten up and down when you leave yourself that angle. And David is really good at those cut shots. I think it's one of his forte. Yeah, if he's out of position, he's still able to find a solution quite quite easily. Oh, he's going around. I didn't I didn't see he had that angle. I thought it was always going to go into the nine. Yeah. Uh, I thought that he was going to well use played. the nine as a breaker. From but here, it looked like he didn't have that shot. Yeah, it looked a bit in the way. Just gonna make sure he gets somewhere to. Now David has a chance to break Alex's serve, so to speak. I like to call it a serve because you know you keep alternating the breaks. Yeah. And you have to. Uh, it's important to defend your break, and uh, yeah. that's what uh, Alex is not doing this yeah. time. Pretty standard here. Yeah. Just come crisscross. I like using two rails here, so you just get to hit it with uh, authority. Just kind of a center He's just draw. Just catching that second cushion, like you Perfect. say, and just gonna float to the ten. Are you going to Rotos again? They're asking. I would love to go to Rotos. Um, Lovely place. Such a great, uh, great little island. Yeah. Good times. And two one for and somebody, the Spaniard. Uh, enlighten me. That's just my opinion. Can't write on this chat. There you can. Perfect square break, and he's got a shot on the one. If he gets a good kiss on the four. Ah, gotcha. Is I. Uh, Giving me a couple of smiley <laughs> faces, <laughs> Clinty. You're not. You're not that slow. You're not that slow. Don't defend him. No, Pira from Russia is way slower. Sorry about that, but he is. Okay, if you have to like pick and choose players that are slower than them, then you know what we're talking about. <laughs> There's a couple, but I give you. Kachi, uh, you're one of the best players in Europe right now, and just uh, such a yeah, nice solid, nice mechanics. match against uh, Vitali as well. That was really demolishing, like eight one or eight two. So maybe he's in the final next year. Who knows? Michael has Michael has says is a Clint is a slow growing monster. Yeah, that's the scary part. If he's uh, still growing, I mean, he's already. Yeah, we were talking about that during dinner, dude. like, if he keeps growing to height, you know, he's got to change his stance, maybe, to not break his back. Have to widen his stance. Yeah, maybe. All right, so, um, anyway, see, here, if David runs out, he's got a chance to go up 3-1, but he's landing a little short on this well, one. Yeah, I'm surprised it broke that that early. It's It seems to break a little bit. He's short, but it's still pretty natural, you know, you just... Cut six in the side, and you go around three rails. Yeah, exactly. You 
just have to bear down on shots like this. Yeah. This could be a defining moment in the match, by the way, if he just holds his serve. Oh, he's missed it big. He's missed it big into well, the center. There you go. Caught a little full. You could say he's maybe even a little bit fortunate it's landed where it has because it's not easy for Krasakis because of where the aid is. Yeah, a lot of body movement on the shots. Shout out to uh, my wingman, Marcus Shamat. Napoleon, where What's are next? you? Uh, I, I know some players, some European guys, are playing the Euro Tour in Austria, but I'm off to New York. I'm going back to New York. Um, I, I wish I had a chance to stop by, stay in Finland for a few days now that um, Darren postponed his uh, World Pool Series event. All right, why is it postponed, by the way? Any news why? Uh, I don't remember. There was a number of reasons, but All right. um, maybe sponsors. That's Darren emailed us about right. it. And fair enough. He's he's uh, told uh, some players that who had already booked tickets that he will compensate. That's the that's the word on the street. I think that's pretty good. Like uh, you won't fair. you won't you won't see that many other events doing that. If any. Tough shot here for Kasakis, by the way. Look at the six. Yeah, position for the seven is... Uh, Avoiding the end of the eight is Whoa. tricky. And Whoa, what a shot. What a shot. shot. Good juice on the cue ball there. Yeah, he really had to smooth draw uh, that yeah. cue ball. Not too hard, not too soft. Just the right. Yeah, if you hit it too hard, you might scratch on the side or hit the eight. Or that was smooth. Yeah. And looking at just settling for a guaranteed position on the A. All I have to do is make the ball mm. a little bit draw. That's a smart shot at this point. Don't have to get too fancy. Yeah. I like this shot. It's a perfect angle. It's perfect this one. Just a little bit below center. Just get it out of the cushion again and perfect on the nine. Yeah, Mark is going to play the 14-1 <coughs> tournament in New York. I actually have a, a few straight ball events. I will play um, also an exhibition match in Richmond, October 16 at Greenleaves, downtown Richmond. My good friend uh, Jim Gauthier is the uh, proprietor of that room, and uh, right. it's, it's an excellent venue, and he's he arranges this uh, kind of an exhibition match every year mm. with me. That's nice. And, uh, and that's just before uh, Peter Burroughs uh, hosting uh, an event at Diamond Billiards in, in also in Richmond. And right. That's the American American Straight Bowl Championship. So uh, I have a few little straight bowl events before the U.S. Open at the end of the month in uh, Norfolk. All right. And later on, there, there was a question about... Uh, the U.S. versus Russia, we will be commentating as well. Yep. For that one, so we got a, a full day here. But sometimes in the fall, there are so m so many events, and then in the summertime, you're like struggling to find an event, and mm. everybody seems to be gearing towards uh, organizing events in the fall. Yeah. Whoa. Two ball got that last kiss from the five, so it didn't drop. And yeah, uh, rare, a rare dry break. Both the middle pocket balls went long again, so instead of low, you see? Yep. Maybe and it broke it a little bit too hard then. Yeah. Oh. And the two ball got nudged by the five. It was probably heading in the corner. Mm. Here, David has a shot, but it's not easy. Just Cut the one in the corner and then. Uh, but like you said, he's ball. great at these cut shots. No you said so. Is, but you he said he so. That one full. And by got catching away with the it full, though. yeah. Hmm. It's like he's got away with it this time. I think if he has to do cushion first here, Kasaki, then he's going to mass it a little bit. You know, when the balls are this slick and clean, the tables fairly new it's it's easy to hit that ball full with uh, outside English yeah for sure 
It just slides a little bit but more. But he did. He kind of jumped up a little bit on that shot. He does have body movement. Maybe subconsciously. On shots. Part of him knew that he's aiming it a little full and he's trying to maybe even steer it in, putting a little body English. Yeah. That's the. That's the funny thing about. Yeah. Subconscious mind. Low right on the cue ball. Can you catch it? Perfect. But caught it. And oh, what a good kiss. Look at that. He's got very fortunate. Wow. He tapped the table to acknowledge mm -hmm. his own fortune. It's kind of a gentlemanly gesture, yeah. actually. It's just not to like. Look like pretend yeah, like I'm he's so just awesome. <laughs> I just tried it. <laughs> I tried for the kiss. I appreciate the that from Alex. He's, uh, yeah. he's a humble but confident man. Both are. Yeah. Good competitors. Edward Hoffman, I see you're a fan of the referee. Well, there you have your picture. She's actually a very good referee. She's, uh, she's got her uh, stuff straight, you know. She's really uh, mm, yeah, that's good okay. composure, and you know, she handles uh, if there is pressure. She's handling it. Pretty decent position here on a three. Round and two cushions for the four ball into the center pockets. So we got Tanner is uh, wants me to tell him about Mezgu, so I, I prefer maybe you can send me a private message and you know we can carry that dialogue and you know depending where you are situated in the world you know I can steer you in the right direction to a uh, proper retailer or distributor and of course yeah. if he wants if he wants to get those cues uh, second hand he can go to the MESQ fans group that is now growing more than yeah, 2,000 members we have a nice international MESQ fan fan group on, on Facebook 2,200 members and counting probably founded by my friend Rob Rob from Sweden I think yeah he was, uh, I think Rob he's been really uh, active on the, on the forum there and yeah. uh, I appreciate that kind of I think Bob um, Rove was also uh, like a moderator or something on there. Bob. Bob Rove. That's what I meant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Touche. Shout out to the guys. But uh, let's not forget about the match. There is a match going on here. And, uh, we're looking at the Alex defending his break, which is important mm. with alternating mm. break format. And like you said, it's important to keep your serve kind of and he's he's broken serve in a way because he was about to get 3-1 up David, David Alcana now he's uh, going to be 3-2 up if he you mean uh, David was going to be 3-1 yeah that's instead. what I mean yeah. oh and he's missed the 7 how he has completely missed the what? 7 ball what happened here but he's so fortunate that's that wow. is a shocking miss from Alex I don't think I've ever seen I him miss such an I easy shot. I haven't seen Alex miss a shot like that in a long time. I, I have never. I have never. Uh, he's, he's, he's grimacing. He's Maybe uh, uh, I've seen both players now being a little jumpy. They all want to get that lead, you know? And he's he, he's he still can't believe he's, nah. he's done that. Anyway, it's important to just uh, try and compose, compose yourself. yourself. Yeah. yeah, it's not like he left the hangar here. He's he's got a little bit lucky not to leave David a shot. Yeah, and he has to try and hide it behind the ten, and it's okay actually. Um, he's he's done that. Yeah, that's a nice shot. It's got a bit of an easy escape here. You could call the seven in the side pocket and kick kick it two rails, and if he catches it full enough, he's got a good chance to stay behind the nine. So two rails, <coughs> I would call the side pocket just in case, and then uh, and that's what he's done. If he can get his mind off the last shot, maybe 
You can get 100% of the concentration on this one. It's a big ball coming out of those two rails. Uh, it's going to be very easy to hit the ball, but catch it with accuracy, different story. It's a pretty good kick. Yeah, pretty awesome. Oh, behind the 10, maybe? Doesn't get much better than that. Damn. I'll say damn. Gave it a little smirk. Hmm. But you called it like into the center pocket. You say that's the best opportunity to have it go past the pocket and then leave it safe like that. It yeah. was natural in a way. It was pretty natural. Is he gonna call the same side pocket as a an an insurance? Probably. But has to put a lot of right hand spin just to avoid the seven from hitting the ten. Yeah. And possibly helping to stay behind the 10. Yeah. But you really have to juice this one. Maximum spin. Yeah. Let's see how good he does. It's like a far 3 o'clock spin. Oh, that a this great, that's a great beauty. shot. Wow. Both players showing a great shot. As we and Paul joke, the joke goes that both they kick like Bruce Lee. <laughs> Rest in peace with the legend. Does Alex have another two rail kick here? Hmm. I'm thinking he's he does behind the eight and it's three in a row. He's again called the side pocket. But this is exciting. Good things can happen here as well. If he hits it square, he could he could go behind the nine, the seven could go in the side, or if it doesn't go in the side, it can go behind the ten. I think just about S after that. As long as you catch it full. Yeah, he needs to mash it a little bit because the 10 is covering a little bit of it. So. What a beauty. Look at the 9. Where is it? Oh, it's not hard enough. But quite, quite good still. There's a cut shot, but still, yeah, it's it's got distance. Great effort. Great safety from both players. Well, this is a makeable ball, but... Yeah. I don't know if Dave is going to take this on. Uh, oh, he will. He's aggressive. Yeah. He, he should. He should. He's a, a tad bit more aggressive. The other angle it looked a little tougher, but it's obviously a very makeable shot. Yeah. I think he's going to go around the rails, three rails, near the nine ball. Perfect. Perfect. He's going to get a good kiss. Bump into the nine. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Sliding off the nine. Dead straight, so he needs backspin. Yeah, almost. Seems like he had a bad contact. Yeah, he's just asking for the cue ball to be cleaned. Yeah. He's asking for it to be cleaned. Yeah, he's heavy okay contact. Though, like this is a still pretty standard shot. You know, I like this angle actually. You, you get the hit the object ball at a very slow pace. Yeah, and you can just kind of choose the cue ball a little bit more. Yeah, it's without getting that th ten. without getting that thick contact you're talking about when you have to hit him a little bit more full in these new cloths. Yeah, this is this is a lovely this shot. This is a big pocket. Yeah, going at a slow pace. Oh, and he's almost overcut it, but it's fine. It's fine. It's about to say perfect on the ten. Kasaki will be kicking himself. He had such a great chance for three two. It was a good rack, though. They both. Oh yeah. Some. Fantastic, Greg. Not, not for because I guess he won't disagree, of course. But by, by the Q. Yep. Yep. Cool. Hope you get an exceed, boy. Looking, taking, a, having a look at the Nick Malai in the yeah. audience, and he, some, some of the friends, Economopolos, and maybe some other Greek s supporters of Alex, mm. supporters of the game itself. Yeah. Um, they're putting the referee to work here because he's having to remove the 
magic rack just to make sure everything goes correctly she uses that snooker ball marker kind of there we get a replay of uh, the break hmm. let's see how we navigate here it's a bit tricky with the 9-10 like that it is really the only problem on the table, so... So... Let's see if he gets a solution early, or... It's not gonna be super easy to break the cluster and have a position. No, for sure on not. The ball. Even this shot is uh, a bit tricky. Yeah. Is he going around the angles? It looks like he's playing inside English. And that's going to land short. Yeah. But you I need see more, more power on that, here. though. But yeah, you have two balls to but hide behind there. The benefit of playing safe here, and you know, possibly if you get ball in hand, then it'd be easy to break the cluster and mm. get position. Which one of the two balls do you think is the more natural to hide behind, the four or the eight? I think the four. Yeah, with a little bit of side spin. Four, just play the three ball straight up. Near, it's going to go near the nine and yeah. ten. No, he's selecting oh, to he's cut go it the, the other way around. Yeah, he wants to hide it behind the four. And then the cue ball down there, but that's, that's not perfect. Um, There's a shot. I, I don't think that was, that was as easy as the other way around. You know, no. Gaining. Possibly even you know hitting the cluster and mm. looking the guy behind the four would have been a great opportunity, mm. you know. If you have a chance to break the cluster and play safe at the same time, you should go for it. There was like good margins there. Alex might go for this ball. Good shot. Stops in time for the four. Yeah. Center of the table, where you want to be most of the time. Yeah, let's see how he manages the cluster here. Yeah, if he if he gets a good angle from the four on the five, he could maybe break them up there. Out towards the five in a way that ah, just a bit short. Yeah, I think he wanted to land on it so that he could uh, fix the cluster here. Does he have the angle to? Uh, I think he was looking at getting the cluster now, but it's too much angle. So gotta do it from the six, maybe. try to do it now. He could just come across the table and nudge the mm. 9. Yeah, if he, if he nudges the 9 is alright, but if he nudges the 10 is obviously a big problem. <laughs> so Yeah, he's gonna play it conservative. Probably, yeah. I don't I don't think the nudging the 10 is even on. It's, he has to put quite a bit of spin to even get to the 9. Depends on how much they slide. But uh, yeah, on angle is on a an bit older bigger. cloth. It would be yeah. easier to you spin could you more. could hit ten very easy. But but here you say it's probably going to slide too much. You could also play the six and play safe on the eight. But I don't. He wants probably to do a little bit something more productive. Mm. This is indeed the finals of the Kremlin Cup. Race to nine. A lot of money at stake. $10,000 for the winner. There you go. And he hey! Hey, hey, hey. I told you. Ex exactly I told what you, you, but he got, he got away with it, it. I call it. He did, he did get away with wow. it. Wow. That's probably why he played it with a little bit more pace, wow. with a chance for it to float past if it was to happen like that. Mm-hmm. 
If he played it too slow, he would have stuck behind if he it. Had, if he nudged the 9 a little bit and then the 10, he would have been in even more trouble. Yeah, probably. So it's, it's turned out good. Yeah, that was risky. I mean, well, I don't think he tried it like that. But no. I think he was counting on more slide on the cushion. Like you say, he wanted to go for the 9. He can't afford to go 4-2 down though, so he's got to really concentrate on this 8-ball. Yeah, got to bear down here. Yep, do or die. Good shot. Yep. Edward Hoffman, James Bond says the ref is so sexy. Martin mm -hmm. I'll leave the judging of her to you. Good. He keeps hopes alive. Three all instead of four two. Match on. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a ball game here. We do. Power break again, or looks like it. Got a few uh, Greek fans here in the audience here, um, as well as watching from home. Wow, that is Alex a, just great a great break. break. Perfect. Ah. Well, no, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. And combo that eight in. Yeah. No problem. Cushion into, or put the one in the cushion real, first, yeah? Yeah, real first, no problem. Why is he shaking his head? This is a great opportunity. Yeah, he wanted something easier. <laughs> He's so close to the balls here, it's easier to, it's mm. easy to maneuver. The eight ball was an inch more out. It'd be very difficult. Yeah, here he still has options. Yeah, it's it's. A Would you stun this? Very very easy ball to make. I put a little bit of draw, and then you know the one hits the rail, hits the eight, comes, goes to the right, mm. and then the cue ball goes to the right. Yeah. It's a uh, it's natural. Position's natural. Let's see if he thinks I would so. just kind of float it. There's nothing. Speed two or three? Nothing, nothing to do here. Just just, just make sure you get a shot really in the one pace. after. See, that was all right. It came it came out far enough. That's all right. That's good. That's a good shot. That's fine. He held the cue ball on that side. I thought it was going to cut a little bit more. Mm. But um, now we're looking at... Um, Probably coming down to the side, mm. side pocket for a position. And go straight up and down. Yeah, that's the most natural angle. Touch of uh, outside English, and top spin. Just to make sure yeah. the cue ball goes straight, straight up and down. Do you think he needs the outside English here? Do you think it's going to slide off to the two if he doesn't uh, get like half a tip of that? Or looks like center ball. Okay, the guy who shouts out live is Alvin Nelson from Inside Pool. We're getting the info here. All right. Um, Great shot. I know there. Alvin. Yeah. This was a good shot. It was a touch short, but he's okay. Just play this with draw. Yeah, kind of trying to kill. A little bit of a hold the cue ball. Whip, whip, draw. Hits yeah. the side rail and out. Kind of have to stroke it, really. Yeah. Dig deep. You don't want to drop the shot on this one, or drop like drop the shoulder on that one. You mm -hmm. just have to poke it. Oh, done well. Really nice. It's all natural from here. Yeah. <coughs> 2-2. Two, two.
Tero Hilpinen. I guess you're finished. Uh, you are right. Sometimes you really do need to just mold the balls into the magic rack to get that perfect rack. Depends on each model, really. Or each print, you could say. I don't know, are they allowed to touch the rack here in the final? Then I know in the other matches they have been allowed to just mold it a little bit after they've had the rack done by a referee. Are they allowed? Mm, not sure. I think for TV purposes it looks it, it looks weird. It would look yeah. well about professional. I yeah. think they're allowed to maybe uh, yeah. point out to the referee if there's any Yeah. Any any disagreement with the rack. Yeah. Great shot on the six as well, and he's perfect on the seven. There you have the Russian commentary. There's a few different commentaries going on here. Yeah, the, I think there are three, like because they have the Russian live stream, uh, like the one we're doing, and then there's the TV, and then there's the I think that's the TV crew, and these are, these guys are on the live stream like we are. Mm -hmm. So yeah, free. Well covered event. A uh, well missed this shot. This didn't happen here. That's a well missed shot. I can't believe he did that. Wow. Mm. If anything, just hit it thick in the pocket. You never hit it thin, so you hit the side cushion first because that's. Yeah. You can't do that on the diamonds, anyways. Well, no, I mean. The he had plenty of angle. Yeah. That was, uh, he's just uh, taking his eye off the ball again. Yeah. And uh, let's see if he's going to pay for it this time. I think he is. Four well, three. definitely for this rack. But uh, can Alex, I mean David, can he build a bit of a lead? If he can break and run the next rack, yeah. he could be uh, taking oh. command of the match. Like you said, holding your serve, important. Wow, what a twist. Yeah, and he's called a perfect timeout. Mm. Hmm. Al-Qaeda to break. We're back in action here, and uh, Al-Qaeda has a lead, but has he broken dry now? Oh, yes. Oh. He took that a bit of speed off that. That has to be disappointing, because now... It in theory, he had a chance to go up 5-3. Yeah. And now he's given a chance for Alex to get mm. back to even, which is a sigh of relief for him. Yeah. I made a mistake. I actually said he was full-on Longoni, but he has a Predator BK3, it seems. So, okay. my mistake. So he is mixing it up a little bit. You use the Long kite break yourself, Long right? Has, uh, they have nice designs. You know, they they do been around for a long time. Yeah. And uh, Renzo Longoni, who is one of the, the founder of the company, is a great craftsman and, and uh, master of his craft, really. Yeah. Their d their designs are definitely um, unorthodox and unique and beautiful. They're like pieces of art, in a way. Yes. Oh, what a miss. What a miss has there. He's got it away with it. He has. Well, no. nine ball combo. If he can get thin enough on the right side on... Uh, I, I believe so. I think he's he's he just needs a half ball hit here. Half um, ball hit on the one. I'm, I'm surprised Alex played it with double speed. I thought it was going to go between the... The four and five. Yeah. The, the odds of getting on the two would have been like great because even if it hit the five or the six, yeah. he, he would have had a position. Yeah. Be careful. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Not behind the four. Oh, a cool heading here. Whew. It's fine. So. Uh, I thought, you know, like taking a break that Alex did earlier, he would have recomposed himself and and he you seems know, being nervous. the one that was fairly makeable, you know, like more than, I would say it was an 80% shot. And he completely butchered it, but now he's hit the one see too David, thick. David has uh, created himself 
a little bit of a trouble being um, bridged over the eight ball. You have a question on there. What's your favorite break cue? I guess that's the Kai break. Yeah, I'm breaking with the Kai. Same. But I have a Tom break and jump tip on my Mez Kai break cues. So he messed that um, one up. That's a free chance. The, the tricky part, you know, playing over a ball like that, if you just yeah. put the slightest amount of spin, yeah. you almost have to uh, aim, you know, even yeah. compensate the aim to the far yeah. side of the ball, knowing that the cue ball will mess it a little bit. So yeah. it's almost, in that case, you should have aimed the two ball like straight yeah. on, knowing that the English would grab and yeah. uh, alter the path of the cue mm. ball. Luckily for Krasakis, he didn't get away with it. He has a shot here. This is the second time uh, Alex has another chance here in this rack. He really needs to take advantage uh, now. It's, it's. I mean, I don't know. I've seen some other matches where you can't get away with even one mistake, and then Alex is getting away with a few. Yeah. Do you think the title defense is maybe making him a little bit ner more nervous than last year, knowing that he's about to maybe defend the title? Well, usually you're the favorite coming defending a title. You know, you, if you, you don't want to let that title go. You're just mm. kind of like uh, Stephen Henry. I read in some interview that, you know, he, when he was playing some majors and he was defending a title, mm. he was he was so much tougher to beat because he just wanted, he wants to hold on to that title. Yeah, for sure. He wants to hold on to the trophy and uh, the the accolades and mm. deny anybody else the chance. So uh, he watched. Read a, he I read a great interview from Stephen, and he yeah. he's such an amazing competitor. Would you agree he was the Federer of the billiard sport? He was that meticulous. He was meticulous. He wasn't as charismatic as Federer. No, of is. course not. But he was. But winning wise, uh, maybe more like Sampras. <laughs> Yeah, probably. But uh, the samples of his era. Kazaki's going all right here, and he's nice on the seven. I feel like uh, Stephen Hendry's like he's uh, still playing. Uh, maybe I've seen him play some Chinese eight ball even. He's been promoting some series, but I feel like he's after his uh, professional. Snooker career was over. He kind of relaxed a little bit and came out of his shell and had a little bit has a little bit more personality. Well, he's he doesn't have to guard this like yeah exactly stone cold demeanor. Yeah exactly. He can actually become a person now and not just a killer machine yeah. on the snooker table. Yeah, he tweets like funny things. Yeah, he does. <laughs> his his tweets are really funny. So he's got that British dry humor Very. coming out. Oh, tin ball, not in clean, but it's in. Yep, just a few cheers from his uh, comrades. They want him to uh, do well. So, 4-4. Four, four. You know, and um, Finnish and Estonian is fairly similar language, but there, there are a few funny little things that can go wrong. Oops. But, uh... For instance, like if you say, uh, for good health, yeah, we say tervereksi, you know, for good health, when mm. you say cheers or something. Yeah. The uh, Estonians say terveseksi, which means like healthy sex in Finnish. Uh-oh. <laughs> so Don't go there. Funny things. Don't go there. Also, like, marriage is a... Uh, um, Polma. In mm. Estonian, but in Finnish that means like a, a puzzle or like a trouble. Hmm. So, so not that similar, anyways. <laughs> it's not. It can be quite. I mean, quite the opposite in that sense. On my nose, no. Birthmark. Yeah, I have a little birthmark. Yeah. On the one side. Don't worry, we showered. We look okay. Yeah, I guess. That's a weird question, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put a, any beauty spots on my nose or anything. 
look at this. Uh, really not a lot of reward for banking the one in the corner. I mean, you're like not looking at gaining much. I would probably play safe here. Um, hit the left side of the one and, and spin around the rails. But then again, the eight is there. It's a bit tricky. You could possibly bank the one straight up and then leave the cue ball behind the eight and five. I like that the best. Just create the distance. Yeah. And, you know, play that at a speed where the one ball hopefully uh, ends at the back rail. I would, I would definitely take this shot on. I mean, I would just it's an easy save. Fairly natural. Three balls are able to cover it. Right. I mean, I guess sometimes you know when when you're not, when you're looking at a table from a distance, mm -hmm. you see different things. But in the heat of the battle. Yeah. David's gone for the, the first shot that I thought of, but yeah. it's a bit trickier. But he's played it well. But he's he's played covered, well. He's covered, semi covered the one. He can still hit it, I think. But still the, uh, the odds, but that working out. It was good, you know. Yeah. He, he was. He just had to avoid hitting the eight ball. Yeah. It does look a little bit tired. Oh, Sorry, not good the Chinese kind of food. Yesterday. Speaking of uh, yeah. foods, yeah, what well, is a really cool place? Um, yeah, I would have to ask um, what the name was. Um, yeah. Good friend of mine took me to a sushi place. Uh, no Chinese place. Nice. Looking like uh, finding a sh uh, break queue, maybe for a full queue jump. What is the idea here? Actually, I also had one of the best burgers I've ever had in my life yesterday. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get the name of that restaurant too. Looking at a jump shot, is he has he called full the pocket? Queue? He must have. Play it in the hole and then possibly bank the two. Oh, he's got away with murder here. He has got away with that. Whoa. He tapped the table to acknowledge his yeah. good fortunes and uh, quite close to the draws, but uh, just didn't. David's definitely calling the shot in here, but yeah. still, even if you make it, you're not necessarily having any position. You know, if anything, if he gets. He could get a position for the bank on the two, but mm. he's not going to be happy with that. Nope. He's left Alex a fairly easy chance to uh, get on the two. He just bumped the bump the four. He needs to bump the four, I think, to uh, yep. stay on the two. I wasn't sure if it was the four or the five, yeah. but four. Center ball, English left side, so yeah. Hopefully you can uh, get that cannon on the uh, four ball. Yeah, Looks fairly natural. It does. Flat queuing, a little bit of left hand spin just to... But then again, he's a little bit hampered. Yeah, the seven's there. Uh, yeah. Doesn't want... As I was saying earlier, when you the slide on the extra and side, you know, you put a little spin, and it spins too much. Yeah. Technically, uh, if you are jacking up, you would have to aim it a little bit fuller than normal, and that's why he almost uh, missed but it. This is see, I don't like this. Nope, he overcut it, so he went further away from the two. So uh, I really don't like this no. position. He might might have to play safe here. Mm. I kind of like sliding behind the nine ball. Just a very delicate speed. Mm. Yeah. Let's 
he either you know you could take the shot on or you could play the cue ball behind the nine. I think I think it looks almost like natural for behind the nine if you played with enough. He's going. He looks like he's taking it on, you know, from his body language. Yeah. Full on back and forth a couple of times. To get on a three. Yep. He's missed it thick. Oh, he's going to get another roll. The oh, line. my God. What a lucky shot. <laughs> Look at the expression on uh, Al Qaeda. He must be sick. Yeah. Look at him. You can't believe it. I think he probably feels he's played a little bit better than the two of them, and uh, he's getting punished right now. I, but I such think, is pull. I think so. I, I think, think so, so too. Um, but again, that's pull. It, it is pull, and. Um, He didn't capitalize earlier when Alex made the first critical error. Ah. Whatever you do, don't scratch. But not uh. sure what he tried there. He hit it with such pace. I'm not sure if what yeah. what the productive. I think he took the shot yeah, on a little bit too quickly because he was so annoyed. He could have taken a bit more time just to check things out. Mm -hmm. I think he just needed to get, you know, a little separation on the balls, and and the balls are spread out in, in a funny way where it wasn't easy to run out if you just leave any kind of tough shot on the two, mm. you know, just. That's good. Natural center ball up, uh, up to the four again. From the speed that David hit the ball, I think he was trying to make the two and still get position or something. Yeah. Like that. It wasn't this kind of safety speed that you normally would see. Not exactly. Playing it for the center here. Needs the bounce and he gets it. A little bit straighter than you wanted to. But I think he's just gonna use a little bit of backspin. It here. is a race to nine here. I wish the uh, screen indicated the race because we keep. Yeah, they could have put it. it. They could have put it in the middle under their logo. But uh, yeah, race to nine. Oh, he miscued. So many mistakes. Kazakis. Well, uh, I think he was concentrating so much to get a bit of juice to to land good on the five, and he just see what I mean by like yeah. I mean small things like he just he landed a little straighter than he wanted mm. to on the four, so he couldn't play a natural yeah. position. He had to draw straight back, yeah. and uh, he's miscued. Yeah, let's see if it's going to cost him this time. Nope. David doesn't seem to be uh finally he gets a good rub. And he's got a good roll now, yeah. yeah. Rub it a green. Mm. Alex should be happy to get on the table. At all. At yeah, at all. <laughs> at this point, you know, he's I'm sure he thought the rack was over and he's back on the table. Comedy of errors. You have to like think positive now. Alex should be like Thanking the pool gods or something that he's back on the table. He he could possibly create something mm. really nice here. Play the kind of similar shot that David played earlier when the four and ten were close together, and uh, he played that yeah. really good uh, kick shot. Try to like just freeze the cue ball in yeah. in that position, but you have to put extreme left hand spin on the cue ball this time mm. and hit the four full. Just missing the sixth ball on his way out. 
And he's done it. That's great. From just having a miscue, that's a pretty good uh, relaxer. He can sit down and just try and compose himself. A sigh of relief yep. from Alex, for sure. I mean, if he can. But you see, he's blinking. He's get maybe his, still uh, tired. Get his act together. He still looks tired. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe there was a little bit of a celebration. No, I would say maybe sleepless night. Just maybe too anxious. Yeah. Sometimes it's when you're excited about finals, you know. The, the night could be a little tossing and turning. Yeah. In the worst case. The what ifs, kind of. And he's got a good hit here. Oh my god. No. What a great attempt. Yeah. What a great attempt. But unfortunately, he's left. Alex, a road map here. Hmm. It's great lighting here. I don't think Finals. it would mess with them. The the light is good here. It's actually better than what was in the arena. This is actually more like TV style lighting. Matte finish, so it's not really that bright for their eyes. Yeah. Superb conditions, I'd say. Yeah. Worthy of a big final. Been a lot of misses though. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. There's a lot of things at stake, just not the money. You gotta remember, they're all wanting to get on the Moscone team, so. Yeah, that's probably playing in the back of their minds. Yeah. Added pressure. Mm. The glory of getting on the Moscone team. Yeah. Is a. Uh, that past couple of years playing a bigger part than it really should be because yeah. we're kind of missing the point. Don't we just like just shouldn't we be playing the game and then Moscone should be the cherry on the cake yeah. at the end of the season. But now it seems to be like bigger than anything else. Large going on. in life. He's oh. nice on the seven though. Played a good shot inside and used to land on it here. Putting good juice on it this time, no miscue, thank god. Yeah, he stroked that with confidence. And nicely on the 8. What is your liking here? Do you want to draw back? So he's what uh, is just he, What is he even looking at? I mean, I don't know, I'm just like, I'll, I'll, I'll just roll yeah. this. I'll roll this up a little bit and then just yeah. take a little bit of angle. I think he's just nervous. I guess he can stun this. Cheat the pocket a little bit. A little bit of draw, stun. It's fine. Tens. Elementary. Five four lead after a couple of mistakes even. <laughs> Whoa. Not yeah, clean. He hit that full, but he he could afford to hit it full with yeah. that pace. Um I think the shots that Alec has missed. He uh, he has rushed him. Yeah. Matikainen, yeah, race to nine. And balls down on the break, but no really good shot on the one. Play safe here. Maybe bank the one uh, towards the the cluster of balls, and yeah. possibly even try to get the cue ball behind the two. Yeah. Just really have to uh, make sure the one ball heads in the right direction. Behind the four, maybe like 
head towards where the 10 is now, you know, it'll be behind the 6. Mm. Be a cluster of balls. I know I said before that it's not a slow match, but it is turning into a little bit of like a tactical battle in a way because the racks are not really landing them good on the one a lot of the time when they break. All so right, Davis called the bank. I think he's got a very small window making it. I guess he wants to create distance and just in case. Hmm. The one might go off the rail and the four. Maybe that's why he's called it. Mm. He doesn't like There's this no at all. There's no other way to make the one. He wants to essentially uh, play safe here. But uh, it's a fair call. Just in case you hit the four, yeah. it might go in. You think you could billiard the two? I think it's on. But, uh, but I think you need backspin on it, and you can't really play that kind of juice because of where the nine is. I think it's uh, the two is too far up the yeah. table. Yeah. Oh. He did it. He did it, I yeah. I think he called it, too. That's an excellent shot. My mistake. That's possible. I know it's pretty straight on the one, but he should be happy. Yeah. He's got an open layout it without any problems if he gets on the three. Yeah, and then the fact that you know, um, making a combination of the 10 doesn't win the game anymore. You still mm. have to clear the rack. That is a game changer. Um, many racks where you could see an early uh, finish, you know, you still yeah. have to clear the ball, so it sometimes it doesn't even make sense to go for the yeah. combinations. Well, good. He's, he's notched the 8 in a, in a good way. Now he should be clear to clean the table. Still a lot of work to do, though. Yeah. Even this position's kind of funny. Yeah, he's he's looking like four. colliding with the four, right? A little bit. Play the four yeah. just where the eight is, you know, in that corner. Bit soft, but he's okay. He's okay. He's got the nines by the side. He can yeah. just go near the nine, just to get a perfect angle on the six. There's no scratch, so he doesn't have to worry about that. Super clean pot. And got the right angle on the six as well. Don't forget, I called the uh, Hill Hill. This looks like one of those games. Gonna be like a nightmare on the last ten where they probably miss it a couple of times, like 1985 World Snooker Championships. Hmm. <laughs> Could be entertaining, so let's, well. let's not rule it out. It's not quite the same magnitude of the event, but... Nope. <laughs> but it's still, uh, I would say this is a major event. It is. Not quite the Grand Slam, but... Definitely one of the marquee events of the year. For sure. Can't separate Very them. well organized. Five five. Unless he gets the biggest kick in the world on the ten ball or something like that. Commentator's curse. Saint Petersburg is definitely a, a beautiful town as well. A bit more, uh, more to see because it's such a, you know, historical city and. Basically like Moscone. You know. <laughs> <laughs> the dream race, isn't it? I like this position where Alex is breaking from better than yeah. David's. Uh, Not too straight. Yeah, the one ball is going to head towards the corner. Yeah, exactly. You More see. likely to get shots on the one. Yeah, and he has. He just got uh. kissed by some other ball and, and it's <laughs> created a little bit of a... Does he have the one in the side? If he does, it, it's kind of nice because the two is hanging there. There's he does. No, no need to play position because it's already... It passes the eight. Guaranteed. It 
passes the eight. You could also cut the one in the corner, but that's a little bit trickier. Michael on the chat, just uh, re refresh F5. You get the sound back. Oh, St. Pete. Okay. Smolny Cathedral in St. Petersburg. Uh, duly noted. Um, Pepsi, uh, wor World Nine Ball Championships. Uh, where is it? Is it back in Qatar? Or I'm kind of confused with the WPA events lately. It's, uh, it's been a few cancellations. Oh, there's problems with the worlds, or I didn't hear that. All right, awesome. He's he's nailed the one inside. Now still. It's not a walk in the park to get on the three. Because there's a lot of traffic. Plus the two is where it's it is. It's close to the jaw. Funny little balls that you can run into. And be mm. What do you think the slide is going to be like here? Because it's so close to the jaw now. I would probably try to go towards the six ball here. Not, not even like... You somewhat have to... Or is he going real first? Yeah. Clever. Let's see if he That's can avoid the seven. Shot. That's that a was great amazing. shot. But he hit at a perfect pace. Wow. Stunned. If he's tall enough, he can stretch with it with, uh, without without having to use the rest. I think so. Oh yeah, yeah. he's got enough yeah, for grip sure. on his shoes to to yeah. just reach over. Good shot. Nice little stun. A little bit of right hand spin on that one. Samsung. Okay, did uh did he land at a bit of a funny angle here? Yeah, I think he's alright, you can follow through. Should be okay. Maybe you can bump into the seven a little bit. If he's got a if he's got an angle going into it, either that or he just can use the back rail to go in and out of the rail just to create a little bit more distance. If it's straight, I don't see why he's even thinking about it. Thanks again he's for the back rail. Thanks again for liking the commentary on the chat. Thanks a lot. By the way, the Chinese restaurant that I was mentioned earlier. It's uh, it's called uh, Kitaiskaya Gramota. Kitaiskaya. And it's an amazing Chinese restaurant here, uh, not too far from here. Uh, Duly noted. Towards the center of the city. They have to give me dinner tonight at the uh, music event, so uh, yeah. Maybe I should put it in the chat. But anyway, and then I also tried this great burger place called Burger Heroes. Burger Heroes. So I had this an amazing burger and it had a kind of a, this rye rye bread buns and it had like pesto sauce and a little sun-dried tomato uh, an amazing beef dude, patty dude, dude shut up I'm getting hungry and, a, and goat cheese and arugula la, 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 it was la. all the best ingredients I just won't mind blowing it. one I of the best burgers I've ever had Making Burger hungry. Heroes, guys. If you ever go to Moscow, that's the place to be for burgers. Not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored. No, no, yeah. No. Yeah. It's Routine ten ball. This is like Finally, he gets a lead back. Foodie, you know. I'm just giving props to yeah proper uh, food establishments. Yeah. Still breaking Gotta from the center here. And yeah, Dave's not changing his break. It's yeah. just, uh, see, uh, now he's. Aimed it a little bit off center, but and he's taking speed so off. He's coming but he's dry. Has he? Nope. nope. And that could be. Uh, could
could could have been disastrous, but getting on the two is is there is a path. You Juice. really have to rip this Juice. Low, low left. Low left and uh, come around the angles. And uh Alex has shown he's got the technique to do this, mm. but uh still you have to avoid hitting the ten ball and then you're pretty much on. He needs to avoid a miscue as well. Just saying. Well he he's take he took his merry time putting chalk on like it. Like a quarter of the chalk on it. <laughs> Let's see, like you say, is he gonna rip it? Yeah, but is he gonna slide? But is he gonna hit the ten? See? That's uh, the wall he yeah. wanted to avoid hitting. I said I wanted to see a break and run. I think I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. Hmm. David must be p pleased with the the outcome of that shot. Yeah. Know that he'd probably get back on the table. Bobby needs to tell him. Yeah, who knows? You know, possibly. I've had good experience lately with a a Talm chalk. It's amazing. And it doesn't create any uh, bad contacts on the balls either. So, yeah, like we we talked about this, uh, the, the snooker, snooker players, the especially snooker players. Mark Williams, was saying, like I've practiced for two hours it. and there's no chalk on my table. I love it. So, two hours. You you've seen like guys practice like thirty racks and then never had a bad contact, and that's pretty remarkable for snooker. Yeah, a sport Alex prone to the kicks. Alex has played a great safety here. Yeah, I think he can mass it and still get a pretty easy hit. Either that, or he has to trust to a really not an easy mass. Hit. No, he's gonna jump it. He's probably gonna try to make the ball. That's shot the only nothing. shot I see. Shot to nothing. Back to the three. He might just bounce between the 7 and 10. Hoping to put a little bit a little bit of backspin on the cue ball. Mm. Um, yeah, that's the shot. But want to want to keep the cue ball on the table as well. He has to be careful here. He didn't come through clean on that jump. He's like, the stick went a little bit quick to the left and then uh, mm. hit it at too much of an angle. If you can see the replay. Mm. Yeah, added left hand spin just last minute. No, he just needed a little bit left, but... So he should have aimed it thicker at first then. Yeah. There you see the replay, what happens. Yeah, it was it was a close distance, very difficult shot. Yeah. Oh, what is Alex dude. doing here, dude? What yeah. are you doing? <sighs> Pool Gods doesn't want him to defend the title. It well, seems. Pool Gods want, he wants this match to go hell hell. <laughs> <laughs> seems like, uh, like I said. Yeah. That's all right. It's happening again and again. Oh man! Great play. He's got a pickpocket here to create the perfect angle for the six. Yeah, he's gonna go all the way down. Yeah. He actually opted for the other way. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. Straight up and down with a little bit of left hand side. Yeah. Just a tiny bit. That's short. Oh, he's not liking it's it. Okay. Ish. A little short. He's he's indicating he thinks the bounce wasn't big enough. That's usually the other way around. Usually we hate the big bounces, but there he wanted one. There he has to avoid hitting the eight. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's he nice. Is. He just needs to stop complaining and just pot the balls. He's doing well. Yeah. He's a little bit angry with himself. Yeah, he's, uh, he showing, feels he should uh, be in front. That's probably why. Uh, but he should be uh, very happy to be even on the table. Yeah. This rack. Courtesy of that scratch. If he can just stay down on the ball. Clean. He did stay down on this Ooh, one. Oh, damn. That was a tricky shot. It and was. Uh, he's played it well. There wasn't much else he should have done. No, it would, he would have been fairly unfortunate to actually hit it, so he snookered himself behind the tin. So, not not too much about the luck there. Decent on the ten. Seems like he's a little. He's uh, finding the, s the speed now. Yeah. Yep. Six all. You called it, Hill Hill. Let's see. That's uh, Cor Corey is joining us. Yeah, because we have U.S. and Russia after. Yeah. Magic. I thought you. I thought Corey would be like meditating in his room, you know, just getting ready for the final. Oh come on. I mean, for the U.S. Russia. Yeah. Look what, at that. What are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on that event? Uh, you're pretty pumped up to be uh, subbing, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very subbing in for a sub, sub player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. but seriously, it's still no. probably a fun event to play. No, it's going to be a great event. I'm really, I am, I really am excited about it. So I'm, I'm honored to be on this subbing team. It's subbing good in for Skyler. Subbing in for Skyler. Yeah, the guys are. Got uh, somebody's clock in my reading reading glasses. <laughs> nice glasses. Look at those. Yeah, John Ravitas. Hello. Hey, man. So, uh, <laughs> I look smarter with these glasses. Is that impossible? So how's this set going so far? So I just got here. Now. Um, we're not sure that it's been a break and run yet, so it's really so it's, it's a little scrappy. Scrappy and it's been a few yeah, misses here touch and there. Touch and go, a uh, few unforced errors. Well, that's understandable. Like There's a lot of pressure here in the finals, so it like could happen. With, uh, Andre. Oh, my match with Andre. Now that was that was scrappy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, this, this they haven't been, been able like to land on the one really this, in the breaks. There's not a lot of sh good shots after the break. No, yep. it's been uh, tough. I noticed Kazakis has a break cue. I think that's a purple heart shaft on it. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. it's a custom cue from Greece. Yeah, IQ. Yeah, it looks good. Solid Shout piece out of wood. To the guys from IQ in Greece. Uh, yeah, good people. Oh, far down on the chat. Ted Lerner, hello. hello. Wow. You. you graced us with your presence. Thanks a lot. Awesome. Ted Lerner's one of the best announcers I've heard. He's good. Yeah, he's at the World Championships a couple of times in Qatar. Hasn't he been there? Yeah, he's yeah. been. He's all over the map. I mean, except for his brother, obviously. Hmm. What happened here? Does he he's left the one. He's left the one. Ted, where are you now? Are you back are you in the States? Yeah, quite surprising that they haven't made any breaking runs, really. There's been a few misses, miscue, scratches here what and there. What do you do here? Do you see him going back for the 2 7 combo? I think I play for the combination, yeah. He's going to have to put the draw on in inside English. The just problem to avoid if you the scratch. Yeah, if you play for the two and you get on the wrong side of the two where the cue ball's going into the seven, the position's going to get a little tricky and a lot of things can happen. So I think you're better off if you could just hit this with a middle ball and come straight up. I don't think he has a lot of. He can't see much of the one, so he's going to have to put a little bit of draw to avoid the scratch in the corner. Mm -hmm. Either that or he, maybe he can cut it thin enough to. Uh, it's the long rail first. Play, play the two rails. 
that would be more easy to maneuver. Yeah, but then if you hit it too fat... Then you're in trouble again. Yeah. And it's easy to hit it too fat when you put the inside English. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. He hit the knuckle. He hit, it, he hit it a little... Wow, he just finished 50-yard exactly. line where it's tough combo and tough shot. That's mm -hmm. exactly what happened. If he plays a combo, he's got scratch written all over it with the nine there, big pocket. Yeah. I think, I think he's, he's going to have to roll enough. this. I think he's got to roll this two in the corner where the nine is. That Bump might the be a seven. Good option because you know you're guaranteed a position, and uh, you know maybe there's some little bit of a hmm. safety, built-in safety. Mm -hmm. if the seven bounces in a good way, and when you're playing that speed, it's like uh, it's a big pocket. Yeah, it's, that's smart to think of that, that you could play it with a certain speed where the 7 kind of covers the pocket just in case you miss the 2. That's pretty smart to think of that, like a two-way shot. Just in case. I mean, the, the dynamic of the shot is there, so you might, have, might as well think about it. It allows you to hit that perfect angle. Is he looking at the shot at all? or What do you think of, of maybe even... A safety? You see any just kind of easy safety? Or a bank cross corner on the two? Well, looks like a fairly straight bank. I just don't think the sh position's there for the bank. Unless we can stop it dead. Which I think that'll go too long. What about just making the combo and then just hitting the two rails? Oh, he's, he's elevating. He's making all kinds of difficult out of this one. He's not liking it, it really. Though. I'm not sure if I like the elevation. Well, that brings the cue ball off the seven down towards the three. Wow. So maybe he thinks it's a little safer to shoot it that way. Did he just call the two ball? He did. He's opting for. Uh, the I think. Other. I think if he is, plays this slow, he's catching the piece of the seven where his cue ball might go into the five. Part I think that's what he's worried part about. He just wants to rip the two ball across corner and just draw the cue ball to the back rail where the three is. Draw it back. <laughs> That's yeah. a bit aggressive. That's nice. That's not Sometimes bad. fortune favors the brave. Well, good luck, mate. But I like the corner here. Just play it in the corner. Yeah, see, he Over came off. Look, oh, he's, he's going to scratch, scratch again. Oh, my God. Oh. That was a big pocket for the scratch with the three where well, it was well laying. That's, well, that's being... Two scratches and two wrecks. The fact that he hit the two ball that thin caused the cue ball to hit the seven ball fatter, which, again, caused the cue ball to... Yeah, so if he hit it good, Get maybe that would have been an okay shot. It would have been okay if he hits it better. But um, since he hit it that thin, it's going to get a fuller hit than the seven, and that's why the cue ball head towards the corner. He's looking for the four in the side pocket. Looks like it passes the ten, so. Yeah, I would get uh, create the angle and just get a little closer to the three so you can easier maneuver the cue ball. Mm-hmm. Wow, he sure drew like the ball. I don't would've think you need to do end. all that. A lot of times you might miss cue on a shot like well, that. I'll just play the angle and just like go towards the three directly. I think you told me once, never uh, draw with ball in hand. I think it, it was the Moscone <laughs> I mean, Cup you don't have one to, year. Right? <laughs> yeah. I think I learned that from some other great player. I don't know. I, I, I agree Efren with that. told me once. Uh, I agree with that. I agree sure with that. Ball in hand somewhere, I think I played it. Draw shot and it's like, yeah, you should have followed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you don't that's have to tell me that thumb. once or twice. I miss ball in hand in this tournament. But I have an excuse. I had a bad angle on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But you placed it you placed it there though. No, I had a I got unlucky to get a bad angle on that ball. <laughs> What do you think about this collision on the 10? Uh, uh, I like your sense of humor. I think this, I'm going to go first diamond on the short rail between I the 7 and the pocket. Inside English. Just oh, he's playing on the side. side. Just go around the angle. Water so oh, oh, oh. oh nice. Perfect. Yeah. I didn't perfect think he had the angle to shoot in the side. He's back in shape. Everything's natural here. Yeah, just draw back a little bit. Oops. A little stun, little. Yeah, good shot. Kind of between the stun draw. 
Hmm. Connecting the dots now. Spaniards will be cheering after this. You called Hill Hill. I think you're right. Really? Is that the is that the line? That's Hill the Hill? line. <laughs> That's Hill the Hill line. Is the line. Well, it was like three three, and I was like, man, this looks like it's gonna be Hill Hill. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, just the body language between the players and the way the balls were rolling. It's yeah. It just seems like one of those. So Las Vegas odds on this is Hill Hill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Flip of a coin, isn't it? I'd say they're pretty good. Pretty good matchup, actually. Yeah, it's pretty even. Yeah, pretty even. I think. I think. Wow. I think Kazakis in the last few years had some nice wins. You know. Yeah, being that the Kazakis won the lag, puts him. Uh, normally, it would be a little bit of a favorite, but now David has broken serve, so. Yeah. And you see, again, okay, not too yeah, much he's power. Got some ca but the, the, he was trying to make the balls on the side, but they both finished yeah. a little low. Which I think I was doing the same thing on this table. It must yeah. just be the way they're setting up. Yeah. First half of the match, they actually went high, yeah. and now they're, it's they're it's going low now. It's just bizarre. Well, Katie's why, breaking why, right why from does the middle, too. Why does keep breaking from the same spot if it's not working? Maybe he thinks he's going to hit it like different. Yeah, I mean, just that just blows my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes people don't they just stick change to their plan now. or just I mean I don't know I, I would change things. Yeah. If things not yeah, I switched it up a little bit when I played Kazakas. I made a ball every time and got a shot at the one every time. I just couldn't make the next shot. <laughs> 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 um. So what are we doing here? Is he's got a tricky run on? Get on this three somehow. If and you can get tight on that three, you can play the combination. But the tricky part is getting nicely on the two to get tight on the three. So yeah, I think there's going to be a few safeties here. I mean, he could if he could get straight enough on the two. You can kind of like play position off the ten and go towards the three, three six. I was thinking and go a little past the nine, and get and an angle to part, go up yeah. near the three. That would be nice. It's just a. Uh, Small as long as, yeah, it's a small window. So yeah, okay, a little bit more risk. He played the safer shot to go just towards the two, yeah. which ensures that he's always going to be able to see the two. Now I he's got to do something it. with I this. I see the position here coming off the ten <coughs> and then, you know, going towards the three off the side rail. Yeah, definitely no guarantee. I think, I think to win the game more times than not, you need to think of playing position for a good safety here. Mm-hmm. Don't you think he I don't think he has any he choice but to go off he the goes, ten. Yeah, if he goes off the 10, goes towards the 3, no matter what, he's a few good chances to play safe. The other option is just to play safe now. Why tr well, Why make one tough shot and then have to play safe? Yeah. When you could just play the safe now. You know, he could bank leave, the 2 up. Leave more balls on the table. He could slide the cue ball over by the 7, bank the 2 up table. He could even go behind the 4. Did you see that shot? Looking like four, really. Is there an angle for that? I'm not sure if there's an angle for that. Yeah. I scratching. think that's what he did. He didn't want to take he didn't want to make one tough shot and then have to play safe. He went ahead and played the safe now. Oh. Mm, Cushion first is on. They left him a little bit of a shot here. Yeah, Rail first and he's got yeah. a big uh, I mean you could just make it and bank the three. Cross side with a big pocket with the five. He's got the cushion he's, first he's got for the sure. Cushion first. He's got the bank from the three. Cushion big, first is a little tight. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna overcut the two oh, into the rail. He's got, he's got it. This, this shot is on. It's on. Put my money on it. You right put now. money on it. Would you put a stake on it? I'll put a stake on it. <laughs> stake on it. <laughs> Asimut stake. And uh, that three ball. I think he's gonna use a little left. Huge because the five is there. It allows for a little bit of margin. Yeah, oh, clean. Yeah. Well, that was right. You in call there. it for the bank. Good thing I didn't put a stake on that. Mm. <laughs> now, what's, yeah, I think he just needs to draw back a couple inches to get a shot at the four, right? Yeah. You know, if uh, David gets this ball in, he's favored to win the match, really. So, you know, if we would have thought about this bank, he could have played position for this bank off the two. 
Shot. That was that was laying nice. Right. Great nice, shot. Super nice. Straight drawback or just yeah, follow just through? Shape there. It was kind of funny. I just followed up about a oh, foot, yeah. kind of inside line of the nine, and then take the cue ball yeah. one rail from the five. Yeah, fine. Make sure you don't hurt yourself. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you Watch want out. to play it inside the nine on that one. That was a little bit risky, wasn't it? Just a tiny bit. Slightly dodgy. Nervy. What close other close call. <laughs> adjectives can we do? Uh, scary. Well, this is not ideal, is it? To get on the seven? No. Is, is it one of those ones where it's a little tough to get past the side? Or? Not super nice, but uh, he could be back in that same position and just go around the rails. Okay, that was a little thicker than I thought. Yeah. He's gonna go around the angles. Three rails. You gotta hit this thin, though, because you could hit it too thick. straight on the eight and be fine. You could hit it too thick and hit the ten also. No, he's fine. He's just fine. Right. Three cushions. Yeah. It's all right. All right. All right, he's coming out to a lead. David Alcade. Maybe Looks not like Hill Hill after all. Well, Alex will have the next break, and he needs to he needs to score to stay alive. Ah, oh, that's a bit short. That's a bit short, indeed. And he's not liking it. Since I just showed up, what are we racing to here? Nine. Nine. Race okay. to nine. Yeah. Oh wow, this is the hill. This put him on the hill. Yeah. Determination. Mm. Clean. Perfect on the ten. Nice. Eight six, Spain. Yeah, he's a good player, smart player. Plays good one pocket. Sorry to knock his action here, but yeah, we're really <laughs> knocking him. <laughs> Balls right, down. We got a productive break here. Wow, three balls down. A little steep, little steep cut here, but uh, the five's right there. Inside English. Just gotta miss the six seven. Yeah, just go between the six seven. You're fine. Pretty natural, don't you think? I'll tell you what he's gotta watch out for is hitting the top at the top half of the six and scratch. I think that's possible. Ah, oh, he won't do that. Yeah, rather really avoid it. Than I'd like to keep it inside of this. I'd like to just go straight across if I could with a lot inside. Uh, I don't, do I don't it. like it because you just chancing maybe a little bit of a bad contact. Yeah. It looks like going between the six and the seven. Making things more difficult. No. Well, he's inside the soft for your choice. He got a little straight, didn't he? Yeah, he's gonna have to. Uh, a little bear straight down, on this bear one. Down on the speed, the draw shot. This is. Uh, Can he follow? Gotta go kind of towards the seven, I think. I think he's going inside in the center of the table. Okay, two rails. I mean, it's a bit it's a center of the table. You just can't hit that one too hard. Almost did. Yeah, this is good. This looks like it looks good. Now it's going to come down to David Alcady's break if if uh, if Alex can close these out, which <coughs> looks like he should. He has I missed a few I shots, play for so. The corner. He, you know, I play for the corner here. I try and get pretty close to the rail just to shoot the seven in the corner and slide the cue ball out a little bit. Then you got stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Easy shots if you make them. Has missed a few. There will be a pressure on uh, David to have a good break next because yeah, he that, played for the to side. Be his last look on the table. So now this, see, now he's got a little funny angle. He might have to bump the nine a little bit. The nine could get in a little tough position, and he's got to get back on it. But everything should yeah. be fine. But just hit it. Don't try to do too much with it, right? Just just yeah. nudge it a little bit. You're fine. Yeah. Good. Don't you think? Can you just curl it into the pocket and yeah. avoid the nine? Low right. I don't know. I don't know if he can. I don't. I don't want to shoot it into the side of the pocket. I Too risky. Thinner and just hit the nine. Just accept it. 
fact that he won it at the nine. Yeah, he is taking oh, the nine. He's going to bump the nine down to where it's easy in the corner. That's what he did. But look, he oh, hit no. the wrong oh. side. I, I really don't now like he's got a funny all. angle. Oh man, that no, was not, not really not. a bad shot. Well, well, they, they, they draw. It. it all started from he should have just played the seven in the corner to begin with. I think. Yeah, well, either that or you just expect him to have enough draw on six to. Yeah, well, like, like you say, just bump it a little bit. Make sure you hit the right side of the nine slow where the cue ball comes yeah, towards the eight. You're going to have a natural angle come yeah. across. Just bump it a little bit. Yeah. Now he bumped it all the way down. And he's got the wrong uh, wrong angle. So he's, I think he's got to roll this ball and take a take a long cut. He's going to have to take a cut, cut shot on the nine. He's, he's winding up like he's hitting it firm. Play, play two rails here. Oh, wow, this is... It's gonna probably go to the past the side here. I mean, I just settle for the angle. I, I don't, might. I don't. Might. You can't try this inside angle shot because there's no. You're, you're gonna have a tough shot on the nine no matter what. Why make this shot tougher? Then exactly. it has to be. Even if you hit this shot good, you're still gonna have the same cut. Same tough cut. So just put, make the eight. Yeah. Focus on the putt. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta leave yourself a little gotta bit tougher. Gotta go tougher. past the side. Leave yourself a tougher shot on the nine. When you when you hit the nine ball, a cut shot like that, you can play it like fairly slow and it's got pocket speed. Uh, there's a chance if he rolls this eight, there's a chance for a bad contact too. I might have the, the ref. I like clean hitting the cue it with ball. pace. You have had a couple of kicks actually, so you're right about getting it cleaned. Firm. Yeah, firm. Wow, he hit it great, though. I like that he came too high and yeah. just made the shot a lot easier. Just pass the side. Just take the shot. It's a good shot. Top shot on nine, no matter what. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Now, this is... This is kind of a... He's got I think he's oh, got to hit this firm and go up and down, right? Yeah, up and down. So that makes the shot a lot harder, though, hitting at that speed. Trusting the bounces of the cushion. You're just gonna put a, like a touch of outside and yeah. top spin. Oh, come on. That's it, buddy. Yeah. Wow. What a way to go out. Yeah. Kind of shocking. Bummer. Just, uh, Too bad. Just getting the ball cleaned by the ref. Clever. Mm, the end of this match was kind of a anti-climatic, yeah. to say the least. Uh, Alex has made a, f a few yeah. unforced errors and it's cost him the match. Mm -hmm. It's not like David yeah. ran away oh. with it. Come on. But he uh, deserves David. to win. David Alcady, your winner here. Can't believe it. Oh, no! Yes. Wow. Great of Kasakis to get to the final still. That was a pretty strong fist pump right there. Yeah. That was uh, very quick. A, a lot of emotion. Yeah. And the trophy goes to Spain. And the most Moscone points. Well, it was well played by Alex Kazakis this tournament to get in the finals two years in a row. That's that's pretty I know. amazing. Pretty close to a title defense as you can get, I guess. Yeah, yeah. he played well. I mean, he made just a couple mistakes. So this might have been his. Uh, everybody does that. All right, thanks, Mika. I'll see okay. you guys later. Yeah. And uh, I think my and team's good, having a good luck for your team. All they're right, having, hey, good luck with the match later. Uh, we'll, we'll be uh, okay. We're talk, talking up a storm here about you guys. Yeah, I'll try and be. The, hopefully, I'll be the best substitute player ever. <laughs> All right, that's what I'm looking to do. Well, you know, who knows? I mean, maybe something happens and you you'd be a real substitute. Well, I hope nothing like that happens because yeah, I, I want all the guys to play well and win. Yeah. You know, but if they need me to sub in. I'm I'm always here. What uh, what's well, the race did, to? You did best out of all the Americans here. Did you? Reached a you know, a lot of people say a lot of people say stuff like that, but it's just match. It's single elimination. So you know, yeah. I think most of the guys got tough draw. You know, it depends who you draw and everything. So 
What, what, what's the race you're playing to now? Race to six or seven? Guess what? I'll have to do an uh, interview. With, uh, okay, we're going to do an interview, but I'll see you guys later. I'm playing right. okay, teams later. Good luck on that match. Uh, good luck. Make sure to sign in. Is David coming here? Hang tight, guys. Uh, on the live stream, we're going to have a interview. David in. Hey. Wow. Congratulations, David. Thanks, okay. man. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, you know, in the end, in the end. Yeah, let's let's do a little interview. You can just, you don't have to. This is no, it's good, it's good. We have a lot of experience. You don't have to put this. Just it's for the audio, just here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So congratulations. Uh, Thank you very much. Officially, congratulations, David. Uh, that uh, that victory there must. You had a lot of emotion after the final ball. You, yeah. what, do you, what, do you, what do you have to say? I think uh, Alex and me yesterday play very well. Not much mistake. But when you play the final, the last day you only play the game to the final, it's, mm. it's not easy. For me yeah. it's more difficult, yeah. it's my first time I play in this table, yeah. it's too, too much different for the other table. Yeah, the different yeah, yeah. bounces, the different rolls, yeah. yeah. When I, I lose the cue ball two or three times, mm. yeah. I'm confident down and also the yeah. Also the break shot was difficult, you, yeah. you guys are not getting great shots after the break. I so have lucky, Alex did not play good. Uh, Alex made a few unforced yeah. errors. It's more important the finalists not play well if they win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, he, and he's fighting for the defense of his title, so it's more pressure on him because he has the yeah, title. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's, he defended to the champion. Mm. He played maybe perfect tournament. He, uh, yeah. Before to up the until the final. Yeah. And then you too. Like yesterday, you guys yeah. both uh, today beat sorry, a lot of tough players. Nah, no problem. We know what's at stake. The Moscone points are important, so that's extra pressure. We all yeah. know. Yeah, no, uh, uh, when I play to final or too many big tournaments, I try no, nothing in Moscone mm. the other. I try yeah. only in the games. That should be just that's, a bonus. That's the, that's the way to do it. <laughs> but, the, bonus, yes. but the fact is that it probably puts you in a pretty good position to get in the Moscone now. I mean, I don't know, I don't know. what Margus think or I mean, what Matchroom think, know but, what is but <laughs> you never know. So let's say this just puts you in a good position to have Everybody. a lot of confidence for the season and, you know, go into the US Open, you probably feel pretty good and you know, just uh, have to stay humble and keep working, right? Yeah, everybody knows played for me for Moscone is one is special, very, very special. Mm. It's last, I only played one time in 2006. Mm. I promise for me, I try and play one more time. Mm. Last year, I don't have lucky. I try this year, I have a good chance. But now yeah. I have two more big tournaments. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, just uh, you've been playing great this year, so I think... It's uh, not easy for Marcos. Too many big players in Oh, there's a lot it's of a very difficult players. choice. It's very difficult for Marcos. Very difficult Especially choice. with the... Some of the majors was cancelled, so yeah. uh, it's more more difficult yeah, no. because of that. Otherwise, it would be uh, you know you have a, a China, you know big tournaments in China, and then the, what else? But we just got cancelled. The World yeah. Baseball Championship was cancelled, so it's mm. unfortunate. But we have a the U.S. Open is probably the next big yeah. tournament, and then yeah. that will I determine hope, a lot. I, I hope play with you again in Moscow. Okay, yeah, we have to make uh, we have to set the record straight. <laughs> Marcus, so. Marcus Schumat, if you're watching, there's pressure on you now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, anyway, anyway congratulations, congratulations uh, again. How, how, do you, how are you going to celebrate your victory today? You have a few beers, uh, maybe? Go to sleep. Go to sleep? <laughs> 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 okay, sure. Okay. Vamos. Let's put Thank the record. Vamos. <laughs> bye bye, vamos. <laughs> Thank you for coming, man. Your champion, Gracias, Kremlin Cup David. 2017. Over and out for now, and then uh, let's go have a little snack. We need a snack. There we go. We see the emotion from David. Yep. All right, okay. bye for now. We'll be back with USA versus Russia.